guys! Shalom! Welcome back to my channel! Today, we are going to explore Lower Galilee in the northern part of Israel. But first, we drop by to see the beautiful view of Hadar Lookout. A new scenic lookout named in memory of Hadar Golden, who was killed in Operation Protective Edge in the Gaza Strip in the summer of 2014. The lookout is in the remains of a building from the Roman period, when this hilltop was apparently a command post that controlled the intersection below. To the east is Mount Ebal and Mount Gerusim, and three seas look out above the hills of Itamar. This is a wonderful place to sit among the olive trees, and as Hadar used to say, please come in with a smile. Guys, let's continue our journey to Lower Galilee. Yalla! Finally, we arrive at the Harrod stream. Aside from the great battle between Saul and the Philistines, the incident involving the vineyard of Naboth, the Jezreelite, in 1 Kings 21 occurred in this area as well. Wow, so beautiful! It was at the spring of Harod at the foothills of the Gilboa that Gideon chose the warriors that would help him defeat the Midianites. Now, it's time for us to have some lunch. Next stop, Mount Arbel, but on our way to Mount Arbel, you can see from afar the Mount Tabor. Mount Tabor isn't named specifically in the Christian Bible, but it is the assumed location of the Transfiguration, where, according to the Gospels, Yeshua took three disciples following a three-day walk south from Caesarea Philippi or Vanayas and miraculously spoke there with the prophets Moses and Elijah. Then, we continue our journey to Mount Arbel. Hello guys, so we are in Mount Arbel. So now I'm gonna show you some painting here. So beautiful. 
Here are all the flowers and the birds. And these are my little lamb. Little lamb. Hello, guys. The clown. The agar better than Val Gidon ketuv shurodef achre zevach v'tzalmona. Azu gile makom yifat yevet. Then he said to them, you know, you can't eat anything. You can't eat anything, you can't eat anything. What did they say? The cup of Zevach and Talmona in your hand? What did they say? What did they say? So he said to them, The sheer rock cliffs of Mount Arbel stand like a sentinel over the western side of the Sea of Galilee. Mount Arbel has watched over numerous battles, travelers, and even disciples. No doubt, the best way to enjoy Mount Arbel is from on top of it. Wow! Mount Arbel is one of those places never mentioned in the Bible. Its presence was so obvious that there's no need to mention it. Certainly, anyone traveling around the Sea of Galilee or along the International Highway would have used Mount Arbel as a landmark, identifiable from most any spot on the lake. Yeshua would have passed it thousands of times. Guys, we are in Mount Arbel and now we are going up to the peak of Mountain. <laughs> walking, walking now. It astounds every first-timer. Why? 
because the majority of the events in the Gospels occurred within the scene you can see from top of Mount Arbel. From the top of Mount Arbel, you can see the places where Yeshua spent most of his ministry, around the shores of the famous Lake of Galilee, Capernaum, the Mount of Beatitudes, Tampa, and at the foot of the cliffs of Mount Arbel lay the village of Magdala, the hometown of Mary Magdalene. Hi guys, so now we are done touring and we went to Hadar Lookout today and then also we went to Harod Stream um, Lookout and then we went to Mount Arbel and it's just amazing to be there and to see amazing places here in Israel guys. So I hope you enjoy watching and please do not forget to like, subscribe and comment and share the video guys. Thank you. Bye.